A 5.3 jet in War Thunder. Now, hearing that phrase, it sounds like War Thunder flipped the flooped up the BR. But I, uh, I think five point. Okay, well, we haven't played a game yet, but this was America's first jet fighter, first produce jet fighter by Bell Aircraft. I think only so many were produced, well, like twenty or thirty, and then by the time they were, you know, the order was for fifty, and the United States Air Force said that. It is uh, not up to our, you know, liking, making me think that this thing is, uh, it's warranted the 5.3, but we'll wait and find out. B-59A, 350 cows, 1,800 rounds of ammunition, and we have that classic, iconic 37 millimeter M10 cannon by Bell, Bell Aircraft, you know, the P-63s. The P-39s, now granted those have an M4 cannon, but the stance, Bell Aircraft, if, if, if you see Bell Aircraft in like World War II-ish, 37 millimeters, slap it on there. Interested to see how much force these, oh my good gosh, 750 kilograms of force. It's a lot of force, that would rip your head off and send you into the next dimension if you were right behind it, but for jet aircraft, now granted, this is 1942, this is below average even for that time i mean just for comparison now this is the me 262 it was introduced in 1944 but it was flying with jet engines the same ones in 1942 and it just really goes to show you how much more advanced germany was in a lot of things in world world war ii these are the umo engines yunker umo 004 900 and 10. I'm going to pull out my really sweet calculator here. Is it 750? Oh my gosh. Got 320 more kilograms of force. And if you look at it, these two aircraft are kind of the same size. And I looked up their empty weight, and the P 59 is lighter, but not by more than 100 to 80 pounds. So it really goes to show you how underpowered this aircraft was compared to the 262. I mean, what the crazy thing is, is that I could be versing, I could be versing, hey, zeros. This is the final countdown. This is the final countdown right here. 5.3 BR, P-59A. Let's, uh, let's go loiter around. Oh, but this might be nice. We might get a little air spun. And don't tell me we're versing the zeros already. I'm going to keep HE. I don't know. I'm going to take ground target. I don't know. I'm going to take universal. And they're all the same, except this one. We might have landing boats, but we'll have 50 cows. We'll just try universal. But if we start to spark with that 37, we know that the AP isn't connecting all the way. I'm kind of intrigued to see what 690 kilometers an hour really is. Like, is that like the, the rip speed or where it starts to get compressed? Because we know that a lot of aircrafts in War Thunder, they can easily exceed that uh, top speed it has on the stat card. Let's put it into a 10 degree climb. Okay, maintaining 450 kilometers an hour, normal for a prop of, of this BR. Actually, I don't know. Let's go to 15. This is where it might get a little touchy. Yeah, no, props can easily handle this. Now, another thing that we're, what, what's going to happen is that we're one of the first people to test out the P-59 in ARB. So if someone sees this, they're they're going to come hunting. So I'm just trying to, you know, position myself carefully. And first thing, the Japanese, so they're going to be sky high. That we don't get ganked early. It's struggling. It really is. Engines are okay though. Oil engine maintaining that uh that temperature pretty well. 
Oof. Look at that, Jay. This is this is what I expected. Just not not fast enough. J J two M's don't respect gravity at all. We got to go in there now. I don't I don't even know. Do we how how many fighters do we even have? We got bomber, bomber, bomber. That guy already died. We got a lot of planes. I don't know where they're really at. The one right there. One right there. Okay. It looks like we're starting to head in there. B-17 finally went down. A-7M. I, I would much rather have like a P-51 right now. Now looking at these wings, I expect this thing to turn pretty well. But we're versing the Japanese. Hey, look, look, there's a zero, guys. Final countdown. Here we go. But versing the zeros, it's 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 not going to be too pretty. Oh my god, that J2M is ridiculous. I think he can outdive us pretty good too. Three thousand meters of altitude. I'm breaking him pretty well. It's just that I can't get separation nicely. Okay, we got a bait potentially. Oh wow! Thank you, sir. We have a. Um, our stabilizer is gone and our rudder is gone. One hit by the twenties, and we have we have carrier landing. This is how I expect it today to go. Okay, slowing it down. It does have trouble pushing past that 690. Look at that. There's so much drag on this aircraft. No rudder, no problem. Just stick your just stick your hands out the window. We actually had a um, emergency when I was in flight school where you would just if your rudder went out, you would open your uh, your windows or your doors. I was like, no, thank you. Now that a stabilizer, it's pretty easy for us to go into an uncontrollable roll. We're going to try to prevent that. Okay, we're on a final. Uh, 80 bucks, I completely blow up here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's not the right song. Gear down. Can I put gear down now? The gear's coming down. Flaps. Landing flaps. Power, power, power. Oh, we got a nice balloon effect here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Power, 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 power. These are underpowered engines. Oh my god, I did it. I think that was... That's the video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. I don't know. It's kind of survivable. I mean, granted, we only took like four, two and a half twenties, but still. Okay, we're up. We're rolling. We're pretty far out. J2M doesn't respect gravity. Oh, granted, it does have a very powerful engine. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being a little, little sugary salt right now. Up, oh, and then the A26 got shot down by a destroyer. Pretty cool, going, going good so far. 
Time to get dead it. Now, wouldn't it be cool if that destroyer kill gave the enemy team some RP? Huh? Now, we got to give credit where credit's due. If you J out an aircraft, apparently now, uh, it will give it to the closest enemy. Isn't that neat, guys? Only took them fucking eight years <laughs> since, you know, the, the console days, but I digress. You guys should not fear me. Do not fear me one bit. We're going to level, build up as much airspeed as we can. I got this, guys. <laughs> Nervous laughter. We're pretty darn quick now. But we're going to dive. He's going to do his turny thing, and then I don't think I'll be able to reclimb. Up, 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 up. You doing a stalling thing? I don't know if that was like a master bait, but I'm gonna see what happens here. Okay, one, keep the airspeed up. Thinks one one's going back to land. Oh, we we, we already have an order up. Okay, take it off 100%. Oh no, I think he's, he's 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 heading towards us. Oh my god, is he? Power, power, power. He's just climbing. Oh, that engine is touchy. I'm going to give him a little bit of a sugar here. Okay, he he bought it. Okay, now we'll pounce idle or not idle, but lower power. Got a critical. Don't know what I crit it. power not compressed here camera you gotta help me here I can't, I can't aim the 37. We're hitting them with the the uh, 50 cows. Okay, we're back up. Really crappy shooting, but we're, we're doing it. Okay, we got three minutes of fuel left. And the J2M just repaired. We're going to burn there. I don't think this base is going to have that good of anti-air. Let's see if he wants to chat or anything. No. I don't want to kill him on the ground. But you know what? I'm not going to be nice. I don't know. I want to be nice, though. There we go. I think he just J'd out right there. I think that was it. That was that mechanic at play right there. Never mind. Okay, A six and five is climbing. I don't know where he came from. We're gonna roll over here. Don't underestimate the A6M5. Okay, well, we're up. We're gonna energy trap here. And we're gonna break him.
I was say, what the fuck is going on with these 50s? They are kind of off-centered, but that's the game. We did it. I wonder what he says, as I predicted. Is that the guy we just killed? I don't know! Oh, there's still one more left. We gotta go land. He's way up here. I only counted like three earlier. Oh, there's another one! We've got... Oh, gosh. Okay, level. He's got a lot of speed. Fifty seconds of flight time. All right, let's 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 do something. Got him! Who wins? Who wins? I think they do. They win because they have more tickets. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Ah, oh, damn it! But that's a. That was a wonderful game. We got an ace in our first game in the Air Cobra. Whatever you want to call this thing, dude. That was intense. This thing utilizing a little boom and zoom in a little turn fight. Um, It's okay. I think I just got really lucky that game by getting targeted earlier, early, making it back to the carrier, somehow landing, and then... Getting into the battle when, when everyone was low on ammo, low on fuel, and low in altitude. Phenomenal performance. 5.3 seems like a good BR. You saw at how uh, much better the props were at climbing and how well they could stay on you. I think I think they nailed this BR. I got to say, guys. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Until next time, peace out.